Hi my friends, today we model this part. It seems to be a sheet metal part, but it cannot be unfolded. You cannot obtain a flat pattern. Yes, dimensions are here and I prefer to I prefer to use uh, normal procedure for a part not for a sheet metal part you'll see why we'll start by creating a revolving volume with dimensions radius 28 height of 13 and this radius 3 the thickness is 1 new standard millimeters IPT not sheet metal IPT XY plane line from the center point to the left Keep press the left button of the mouse and go up. Then a vertical line. Dimensions are radius 28 is here. 28. This is radius 3. And dimension of 13 here then we apply offset of this contour 1 millimeter is the distance we connect these two ends We make this as an axis, center line, finish sketch, revolve, and we have the first volume. We continue with all these dimensions to create the two arms of this uh, part. You see here dimensions, I don't repeat them. I use the plane YZ for a new sketch. And I project this external circle. F7 and I don't see anything. There is a circle here but we don't see I use the sequence alt F I to activate the application options I select colors the top colors and high contrast okay now we see everything I create an arc with this center and I draw that arc. I connect these points and I project the axis Z, but as a construction line. I apply symmetry between these two about this axis and the angle is 60. 60. Good. I create a circle of 20 
and another one of 36. 36. Then I apply trim here and here. Everything is uh, in position. Then I draw another two lines from this arc to the center and back to that arc. Symmetry again of these two about this axis and the angle of 72. Oh, they are perpendicular. You see, I eliminate this constraint and I apply my dimension, not their dimension. 72. I draw other two lines starting from this circle to this circle but I want to be parallel with this. I hover there, I go here and I feel the parallelism. Let's see if this is okay. No, it was not. This dimension is 7. 7. Same on the other side. I still try to find the parallel. I verify and now it is parallel. This is the same, 7. Good. I trim also this without losing dimensions, my friends. This is the goal. But here I cannot apply cut because two entities will remain. I don't want this. So I apply split for this and this. And I make this as construction. Same here. Split this and this. Escape construction. You see now these four lines going to the center. I apply split for each one and I make them construction as well. You see? Nothing is lost. I keep dimensions here. Another dimension is this one with radius 26. 26. When you see the magenta color you must uh, understand that uh, this is uh, uh, a dimension accepted and final. Okay. Then I apply fillets because you see here undimensioned fillets are radius 2 and we have 1, 2, 3 on each side that fillets. Radius 2 is here, here, and both ends here, both ends here.
okay now two dimensions are needed I don't know what are that uh, dimensions so I apply automatic dimensions and constraints apply and you see tangencies and concentricity are missing if I apply remove I cannot remove anything zero done now we have magenta for all these uh, entities finish sketch now we have to apply extrusion for all this contour going up you see with cut all the way okay this is the part my friends the only new feature is uh, this radius one and both uh, sides I select this no this I select this edge to apply radius one not two and the same here okay now I apply again in sequence alt F I to go back to presentation view let's see what is the volume I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and paste there is a small difference but in this condition is acceptable only decimals are different I keep the new value ok and I go back to the part to apply the material which is uh, stainless steel and eventually view shaded not with edges I apply also one light or default better default lights and now we have the same object here that decimals are not visible or important now I want you to see why I made this as a normal part and not uh, a sheet metal part you see if you go to 3d model you can select this uh, option or tool convert to sheet metal I convert this to sheet metal now you see here the environment of sheet metal if I have this part in sheet metal I want to apply flat pattern take a look and see what happens nothing happens my friends because this uh, curved face cannot be flatted this is why I uh, used that uh, solution that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.